Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Plant Life Podcast. My name is Dana, and thanks for joining me on this week's episode. Have you ever heard of dry brushing? Maybe you already dry brush. Today we are talking all about what dry brushing is and the benefits of doing it. First of all, what is dry brushing? Dry brushing is using a brush that has soft but firm bristles to exfoliate the skin while the skin and the brush are dry. You can also add oil to the brush as well. Dry brushes come in many forms and can be round, long, or have a handle to help get hard to reach places. The bristles are typically made from firm, synthetic fibers and the handles from bamboo. Whichever one you get, it's sure to have benefits for the skin. To dry brush, you simply knead a dry brush and then start gently brushing the skin. It's recommended to start at the feet, brushing the bottoms first and then moving on up from there, avoiding the sensitive areas. If you don't like to use the dry brush dry, some people add oil to it, like a body oil or a carrier oil to the brush. Like in massage, it is said to be best to brush towards the center of the body. There isn't a time limit either, it's up to you, but it should take about 5-10 to 10 minutes to brush the entire body. After a while, for me, I felt this become kind of addictive. It's now part of my shower routine, but it's kind of fun, and a little gross too, to see all the dead skin flying off. If your skin is turning red, or it hurts after brushing, you are doing it too hard. Be careful if you have sensitive skin as well, just test to see what works for you, as certain dry skin conditions or extra sensitive skin may be irritated by this process. After dry brushing, take a shower to wash off, and then moisturize the skin with a lotion or a body oil. Your skin will feel so soft. Dry brushing has great benefits. Exfoliation is the obvious benefit, which is good for the skin because it promotes skin renewal, helping to get rid of dead cells that might build up on the skin. Exfoliation also helps make the skin feel soft and smooth and look healthier and glowing. Clearing the skin of residue like cells, oil, and dirt may help unclog pores, keeping them clean and possibly less noticeable. It's also said that the stimulation from brushing gives the body an invigorated feeling, so it may be helpful in the morning for a little boost to wake the body up. And while the research is still out on the other benefits of dry brushing, like reducing the signs of cellulite, stimulating lymphatic drainage, and promoting detoxing, we invite you to try out this easy, good-for-you method to see what benefits for you. For after dry brushing and showering, I recommend our body oils for moisturizing since they are natural, easily absorb into the skin, and provide great hydration and nutrients for the skin. So have any of you tried dry brushing? What results did you see? Let us know your tips and tricks as well by leaving a comment. As always, if you'd like to check out our product line or purchase any of our products, visit us at www.plantlife.net. Don't forget to come join us on our social media channels at Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks again for listening, and we'll see you next time.